In this video, I'm going to be showing a bunch of booster packs that I have available for sale. At the moment, everything is for sale, not for trade. And pay while PayPal is preferred, I also accept cash and money order. So let's go ahead and get started with probably the thing everyone's most excited about, a sealed box of Next Destinies. So this is uh, my boyfriend Ace Blade 258's box uh, that he got for judging, but since I pretty much provide him with the cards that he needs to play, we don't really uh, need anything uh, really from this box. I think the only thing we're really looking for from Next Destinies is just more Mewtwo EX, and the chances of pulling them in this box are pretty slim, so uh, we're passing this along. I believe right now we're looking at at least uh, 95 for it, plus shipping. However, we will uh, l um, you know, consider other offers, but I'm expecting this to be popular enough to be you know, essentially the highest bid is going to get that. So uh, take that into consideration when making your offers. Again, PayPal is preferred, so um, that the, the relatively higher offers that are available through PayPal will come before cash offers, and that's just because... Um, I've been uh, screwed over a lot of times in the past by people saying that they'll send me, you know, um, 95 rather than $90 in cash, and um, yeah, essentially never sending them. So, like I said, PayPal, higher offers preferred, um, but cash will be considered if there's um, no reasonably um, re reasonable PayPal offers offered. So, there's that. Um, I also have several of these platinum poster packs available for sale. Um, as you can see, they retailed for ten bucks um, when they were first released. These are platinum poster packs. You get a platinum poster, this Magnezone Prime, or not Magnezone Prime. Sorry, this Magnezone promo, two platinum booster packs, and two Pop Eight packs. Right now, I'm asking for ten dollars for them, and, and that includes the shipping price. But um, I will consider other offers as well. So it is sealed, um, and like I said, I have a few of these if you're interested in them. So now let's get on to all of the loose packs. I've got quite a few packs from a bunch of different sets. So I have one black and white pack from the uh, black and white base set with a code card in it. I've got several base set Japanese packs. Oh, um, I should talk about prices. Um, $3 for the black and white pack. I can do $9 for the uh, Japanese base set packs. Um, let's see, I've got a bunch of uh, Pop 8 packs looking for $1.50 for each. Um, and I do, for, like for some of these sets, uh, like Japanese base set, um, Pop 8 packs, I do have more available than what I'm necessarily showing. So if you're interested in a certain amount, um, just uh, let me know. Um, you can also check my website, The Cat's Meowth, and uh, that typically have some more details on exact numbers that I have. Um, I have a bunch of platinum packs that I'm selling for $3 each. Um, again, I have a lot more than uh, just this handful, so just let me know if you're interested in a bulk quantity of them. Um, let's see, there's another platinum pack. Um, I thought I actually was out of these, but I had a few people that either backed out on sales or their money never came through, you know, something like that. So I do have six Power Keepers uh, booster packs left. Um, these sold really fast at um, three bucks each, so um, I've noticed online that some of them are going for five each. So I'm gonna uh, see if uh, three fifty each um, will help sell these last six packs and hopefully get them to someone who's more serious about buying them. Um, although if you're willing to buy all six, I could probably go back down to three dollars each. I've got a bunch. Um, oh, actually, here's another pop pack. One pop seven pack. Oh, and I should mention that the Pop 8 packs, the one, I've got a ton of Pop 8 packs, and Pop 8 packs do, um, the set's pretty small, but there is a chance that you're going to pull a rare candy in that set, so that's kind um, that's still a playable, uh, fairly expensive card, um, I think it's like a 4 to $6 card, so, um, that's kind of a little incentive, you know, a $1.50 pack can possibly pull a 4 to $6 card, so just something to keep in mind. I've got a bunch of sampling packs. Two Next Destinies, uh, three Black and White, and two Noble Victories, a um, dollar each. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, I still have some Gym Heroes packs left. Um, I believe these were still pretty expensive, so maybe uh, $5 each. Uh, I think I was asking $5.50 last time, so we'll reduce the price a little bit to, five, to just $5. Uh, let's see. I've got uh, two Emerging Powers packs, uh, $3 each. I've got three expedition packs left. Um, as you can see, their their retail at the time was nine dollars each. Um, looking at seven each for them. And then I think this is the last set I have. Um, are a bunch of noble victories packs. So three dollars each for noble victories. So I think that is everything. Um, again, I list all the prices in the video. If you want a quick look at any prices, you can check out my website, uh, www.thecatsmeowth.com. And all of these prices are not including shipping costs. If you're buying a lot of stuff, uh, I could probably give you a break in shipping costs. For two or less packs, I think I'm just charging like a dollar shipping. Anything above that, you know, we're probably looking at two, possibly three dollars, um, unless you're buying an absolute ton, and, you know, of course it goes by weight. So um, just email me for quotes if you're interested, or if uh, you've got a different number in mind, just make an offer. So thanks for watching.